Greetings viewers, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we have another tool haul, this time another Japanese Koken tool haul. This one is wheel and tire related. Uh, if you watched the original Koken tool haul video a little over a year ago, uh, you saw as part of that I picked up the three-piece uh, thin wall wheel nut impact socket set. It's a 17, 19, and 21 millimeter. Been using those ever since. We're going to take a look at those, see how they held up. Uh, aside from that, we have now the new set. Looks completely the same, except the only difference really is that they have put flat drive in the hexagonal end, which is Koken's um, similar to flank drive for snap-on. It's their technology that grabs the flats rather than the corners. Uh, so they did redesign the open end of the socket slightly. Uh, we have the shallow 19. This is an adapter. It plugs into the regular one. This is for uh, smaller chrome cap nuts, uh, especially what Subaru runs. We'll take a look at that later on. Uh, we'll also do some dem demonstrations on actual vehicles. We have the new Z series 17, 19, and 21 millimeter wheel nut sockets. Uh, these are hand use, they're chrome. I'm not sure if they have a 22. I did buy a 22 separately for this kit just because uh, that's what my uh, 3500 Duramax Dually runs. We've got the flip socket back here. This is a 1921. They have a several different sizes in that. And then we have the Z-Series free turn cross wrench. We looked at that back in uh, summer of 2020, I believe, is when I ordered that in 19 millimeter for putting in my Subaru Sandbar as part of the rate down kit since the factory uh, wheel nut wrench, lug wrench, uh, left a lot to be desired. And then we have the non-Z series free turn cross wrench here so we can compare and contrast between the non-Z series and the Z series. So with that said, let's get the camera down here, get up close, take a look at all this stuff, and then get outside and put it to use and show it in action. All right, so as I said earlier, this is the three-piece set. Uh, it is part number 14201M. And this is how it comes packaged. You get a 21, 19, and 17 millimeter. Again, as I said, they changed the design of the open end slightly, uh, but other than that, pretty much the same as what I have owned for the last year. Have not used the 17 once. Uh, no 17 millimeter lugs do I mess with. Uh, the 19 gets heavy use. Uh, that's basically every Subaru is a 19 millimeter. Uh, I've got some slight wear here. The um, plastic protector is uh, starting to peel up here. Uh, this is just, it comes over the lip here. That's to protect the inside diameter around the wheel nut so it doesn't scratch up the paint on the flat spot of the wheel uh, around that wheel nut. But as you see, it's quite a bit, well, you might be able to see, let me get my flashlight. It's quite a ways down in depth to the bottom there. And you see that little plastic stopper that keeps from scratching up the uh, ends of chrome cap nuts. Uh, this is the low profile adapter here. As you see, it's much more shallow. Uh, great for Subaru lug nuts because they are of the smaller variety. Uh, this is uh, part number 280PM-19. And as you see, it has a little detent there on the outside and it just clips into place on the end of your regular um, socket here. So 19 seen heavy use, no issues with it. Uh, 21 has seen mild use. I don't even recall what I was using the 21 on. I believe uh, 1500 series Chevrolet trucks used the 21. Um, not actually sure. I think that's what it is. And then the 22 that I bought, uh, I believe during the summertime, I think I bought it when I bought the Z-Series free turn cross wrench. Uh, that's its usage on my 3500 Duramax Dually. Uh, very minimal wear, held up really well. Haven't had any issues with any of them, uh, damaging wheel nuts, lug nuts, or rounding anything out, and uh, no failures from any of these sockets. And I am running them on my Milwaukee high torque half inch. So 1,400 foot pounds of torque going through these and no issues thus far. A 
Moving on from there, we've got a part number 14118 PM. This is a double-sided flip socket. Again, for lug nut duty, this is a 19 and 21 millimeter combo. Uh, so red for the 19, yellow for the 21. And the cool thing about this set, most flip socket sets, you know, they come off an extension uh, to the right depth for your flip because the square drives in the center and you can turn it over. Neat thing about the Koken one, of course they were thinking ahead. Uh, they machined this little cylinder here past the drive and they put the little protective plastic button there. So whether you, whichever way you've got it on, you still have your little plastic protective button in there just like the normal wheel nut sockets have. So you're not gonna hurt chrome lug nuts. So pretty neat, something quick and simple to look at. Um, you know, if you're doing a lot of different vehicles, if you're, uh, say, in a uh, Firestone Goodyear, someplace like that, technician, and you have lots of different vehicles coming in, uh, these sets are great, but for speed, flip sockets are where it's at. When you're working on multiples, you don't have to make multiple trips back and forth to the tool cart. So here we have the new Z-Series uh, hand use wheel nut sockets, 17, 19, and 21. All of the color coding seems to be uniform across the platform with Koken, blue for 17, red for 19, yellow for 21, and white for 22 millimeter. Um, basically the exact same design as the impact wheel nut sockets, just chrome and for hand use. Uh, so not much to talk about with that. And um, again, not sure if they offer it in a 22 in this configuration. I'll have to check that and see if they, if I find it, I'll put it down here and let you know in editing the video. Moving on to the non-Z series free turn cross wrench. This is 4711X. Uh, so we looked at the Z series one before, uh, back when I purchased it in the summer. Uh, the non, of course, you don't get the nice polymer, uh, injected molded handle like the Z series does, but you do get this nice super deep knurling on the handle for the traditional non Z series. Uh, so not going to come flying out of your hands when you go to rotate that around. Uh, no push button here lock. That's another difference between the Z series and the non Z series, but it does still have uh, the little detent ball in there and it does have the perforations uh, to center that perfectly when you slide it to the center and lock it into place and hold it. So when you spin it, it's perfectly centered and uh, gonna spin the fastest uh, that it can. And then last but not least, the Z-Series free turn cross wrench. Comes in this nice little pouch, as we've seen in the past. This is part number 4711XZ for Z-Series dash 19 SP. Uh, and the dash 19 SP means it comes with the 19 millimeter Z-Series uh, wheel nut socket. Uh, so. Nice little feature there. So the big difference in the Z-Series, you got that uh, polymer injection molded handle like all the Z-Series ratchets normally do. It is turned down and much sleeker than the non-Z-Series. And you have this push button for the detent ball to make it a little bit easier to get your cross bar here in and out and uh, to lock it into place in the middle. Both of them have a half inch drive square drive on the end, so you can put any socket really on it, uh, but, you know, mainly made for these wheel nut sockets. So with that said, let's get out and uh, put these to use and actually see them used on a vehicle. All right, so I'm sure the majority of you that watch my repair videos have seen me use this socket many times in taking Subaru lug nuts off. Pretty simple. So here's the big difference in the regular wheel nut socket and the shallow adapter. So these Subaru chrome cap little acorns are extremely small. And as you see, when it goes into the traditional socket, it goes all the way down, almost to the point where the outside of the socket can rub around on the wheel. So if we put the shallow adapter in there, and then we drop the acorn in there. You see it holds it much higher with that little stopper and keeps the socket away from the wheel so it's not gonna dig in, uh, which you know really wouldn't because it's got the plastic protector here. But um, 
as you can see with mine, like I showed earlier, where it's starting to peel up in a couple places, you know, it's had uh, a hard life. So it would be better to use the low profile one on these. So now real quick, let's take a look at the Z-Series free turn cross wrench. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know if this is gonna work too well since the car is not jacked up and this tire is also flat. Don't wanna drag the jack out of here for this demo, but uh, traditionally you would uh, come here, you push the button, put it all the way to one side, break your lug nut loose like that, push the button, slide back to center, click lock in, and then you would speed your lug nut right off. Start it back. Pull it all the way back up for some leverage and tighten it down. So really great if you're stuck on the side of the road with a flat tire. This makes it a lot easier getting your lugs on and off than the factory uh, equipped breakdown kit with your jack and all they usually come with a stupid l wrench with a socket on the end of them and uh, it does take forever to get them off when you're having to turn a quarter turn and take it off and turn it off and you know all that so this definitely makes it a lot more pleasurable of a job when it's already a crappy job to start with having a flat tire on the side of the highway yeah but super nice super smooth Just that simple. And that'll do it for our look at these Koken tools for wheel and tire service. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.